Hundreds of Scottish soccer fans couldn't get into the packed Ibrox Stadium when Rangers and Celtic resumed their traditional New Year's Day fixture. It had been called off some years ago because of crowd violence. Although there were 60 arrests today, the police said general behaviour was good. Nick Cowie reports. Rangers and Celtic are known as the old firm in Scotland and to this day the team still symbolise Protestant Catholic rivalry in Glasgow. The New Year derby match so often ended with sore heads and bloody faces that seven years ago the traditional New Year clash was banned after pressure from the police. But today, for the first time since 1975, the fans were given another chance. New all-seat stands and a ban on alcohol at football matches have transformed Scottish soccer. Drunks are banned from the ground and beer cans are dumped outside. The match was a sellout and all 44,000 fans were in festive, friendly mood as they welcomed the teams onto the park. Outside, hundreds more queued for the last few tickets and a chance to be part of the revival of a unique sporting occasion. The fans' good behaviour should be enough to ensure that the fixture is resumed each New Year's Day. Today, they were rewarded by an absorbing match, which, although not a classic, demonstrated the fine attacking football for which Scotland is known. Celtic are in the hooped shirts and Archie McPherson describes the first half goals. Fans. Celtic edging forward very slowly. They have five men in the penalty area. McStay, brilliant goal. Does John McDonald did that very well indeed. More typical of McDonald. Bent. Here is Cooper. Puts that away very well and it's brilliantly safe. And there's a goal. Kenny Black, the equaliser. The first shot at goal has... Most of the attacking in the second half came from Rangers, who came close to scoring several times. Celtic, however, did score again to beat their old rivals for the third time this season. Celtic stay three points ahead of Dundee United, who won their local derby today.